Hello, everybody. This is Abraham at Northshore Computer Services. What we got here is uh, another computer to which I have to convert an MBR partition into a GPT partition. If we turn on our computer right now, the partition is MBR. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what it's going to do. It should not boot. We should get a error from booting, disk not found. Yep. It actually shuts down and tries to restart. This computer, this particular one is Dell 3080. So as you can see, it goes into memory tests and all kinds of uh, problem deter um, trying to detect why it cannot boot. Basically, it cannot boot because this is an MVR partition. And we're running it on a computer that does not have legacy boot. So we're going to have to do a um, conversion. Normally, you would have to boot this on the computer that you originally um, had the <clears throat> hard drive installed in and then run the MBR to GPT converter. I've already cloned it to the new hard drive, put it into a new computer, and <clears throat> I want to see if we can skip a step by booting and converting directly from the computer we're going to install it on. Let's pull that out. Put our Windows boot disk in. Come on. Plug in the power. Turn it on. We'll do the F12. Dell has the F12 reserved for uh, boot selection. Preparing one-time boot menu, and we're going to boot from our USB. By the way, I'm starting to see this thing. If anybody could explain me why that's happening. Uh, this is something that started happening since I created a newer version of uh, boot disk for Windows 10. It didn't happen before, so it somehow messes up the graphics on the screen. It still works, no issues there, but uh, <clears throat> at first when I saw it, I was like, oh, something's wrong, and there's really nothing wrong. So right now, the system is uh, booting from the uh, USB flash drive, this thing. And uh, we just have to wait. The hard drive in here is a MBR partition. And uh, we just tried booting from it. It wouldn't do it. So we're booting from the external. Normally, you would put this into the computer that originally ran it, uh, boot it in a safe mode on that computer, and run the MBR to GPT. That also requires you to know the password for the account. Um, so if you receive the computer and you have to do it and you don't have a password, it's weekend and the person is not reachable, there is another way to do it. We boot it off of the USB um, drive. And we click Next. We click on Repair Your Computer, Troubleshoot, Command Prompt. And now, if we do directory on here, <clears throat> it gives us the actual disk from which it booted and created a virtual disk, so it's this one. <clears throat> if we go to C and do DIR, it gives us nothing. C is present, but there is nothing on it. D. DIR. D has something on it, but it's not what we're looking for. It doesn't have the Windows directory. So E. 
So E is what we're looking for. So the reason that I want to check to make sure that we have our drive is that it's actually recognized by the system because we can't boot from it. We cannot determine whether the system recognizes it. We are going to do right now um, <clears throat> disk part. D I S K P A R T T. Okay, this part. This part will tell us the number of the hard drive of this hard drive that we need to do. So we're going to do list disk, and we have disk zero, nine hundred and thirty-one gigabytes. That's this. Disk 1 is 14 gigabytes, so it's disk 0 that we're looking for. Exit disk part. Now, if we run to the MBR number 2 GPT forward slash validate, <coughs> we're going to get an error. MBR to GPT attempting to validate disk 1. Uh, retrieving layout of disk 1 failed to retrieve geometry for disk 1. What it's doing is it's looking at disk 1 because we booted from disk 1. We have to tell MBR to GPT to actually work on disk 0. And uh, if you do MBR to GPT forward slash question mark it'll actually tell you right here, disk semicolon, disk number. This is the number that we got from um, disk part. All right. So if we do MBR to GPT validate forward slash disk semicolon zero, the validation runs successfully. <clears throat> now we're going to do convert. MBR to GPT convert and delete that so MBR to GPT forward slash convert forward slash disk semicolon zero let's see what this will do <coughs> migrating fixing mapping failed Huh. It says conversion completed successfully. Call win re re reappear to repair win re. Failed to update reagent XML. Try to manually disable and enable win re before the new system can boot properly. You need to switch the firmware to UEFI mode. Well. Okay, the firmware is switched. Let's see if it's just going to work. Um, Reagent XML. WinRE. Mm. Interesting. Okay, exit. And let's just turn it off. Okay, we have a waiting game. Okay, it works. I'm curious what winre.xml is. Let's see if we're going to be able to boot. It looks better, it looks good. I'm going to have to research that error and see if uh, it's a showstopper or not. Right now, the computer is booting off of the main drive that has been cloned from another computer, and we have run the MBT, uh, MBR to GPT converter with one error. 
Uh, as usual, the number, first time that this system runs, it will take a while. And uh, I'm just going to wait for it to actually open up. It's recognizing that it's present in a different system. I'm going to pause the video. It has gone through uh, recognizing things and it's still um, going through the boot process. As I said, uh, the first boot might take quite a long time, up to, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Not unusual, because the hard drive is in a different system. It has to see all these new electronics, new drivers, new uh, environment that it's in. Uh, so just be patient in this step and do not touch the computer unless you get an error of some kind and so far it hasn't come up with any errors uh, or any issues. That was a good sound nothing on the screen yet some things on the screen all right I'm going to leave it you can hear it cranking inside I'm gonna leave it uh, set up its environment um, I will post in the comments if there were any errors after uh, I was uh, done with it. At any rate, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, enjoy, and save money.